Hey guys, I know I've been gone for a little bit. I mean, what's new? But I actually moved to Los Angeles. If you guys don't know about that, I will link my main channel video below where I kind of talk about why I moved, a little bit of like what it was like, and it's also a baby update. So if you want to know about Noah and how he's doing, you can check out that video. But anyway, I'm back. Hello again. It has been insane settling in, but I wanted to do this video because Valentine's Day is coming up and listen. Okay, I don't really celebrate Valentine's Day. I don't think I ever had a Valentine until my husband and like we've never actually celebrated it like a little bit, like here's a teddy bear, but not like let's go out to dinner. Mostly because there's a lot of people out on Valentine's Day and I don't like wanna be like around people. No, it just gets too crowded, I'm not interested. Anyway, point is, Valentine's Day is coming up and whether you have someone that you're going to dinner with, whether you're going to dinner with a friend, whether you're staying in, I don't fucking, I don't know your life. But no matter what you're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial. Is this a tutorial? Well, actually, this isn't a makeup tutorial. This is a get ready with me because I've been wanting to do a get ready with me just because I really enjoy the laid back vibe of a get ready with me. If I could do every video like this, I would. But anyway, I don't know what look I'm gonna create. I'm just gonna kind of go with it, which is what I do every single time anyway. I have missed you guys. I have missed being on this channel so much. I love filming for this channel, so I'm happy to be back. Okay, let's get into it. I'm gonna use this Tula Eye Renewal Serum. I have found that if I do not put some sort of like eye cream or use a little eye gel pack or something like that my eyes get so dry and then like the concealer just looks really really creasy so I have been using this serum which I really like I like the applicator so I use this under my eyes I think I'm just getting like a little wrinkly for face primer I'm going to use the Becca backlight priming filter I love this primer if you've seen my channel before you know that and then I'm going to use my Tarte smoothing primer just kind of on my t-zone area Area. I feel like this makes my makeup last longer. I could be crazy. I don't know I do like this more than the Tatcha one I think I said it in a video a while back that I'm trying out a lot of blurring primers to see which ones compare to the Tatcha one So I have tried out a lot of them and I think I'm ready to do a comparison video. <laughs> I don't know. Am I ready to do anything? Okay why did I just fucking smack my face? Why am I like this? I am going to prime my eyes with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. I'm sorry if, I mean, it, the video just started, so I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I'm sorry if I'm not being super talkative. I've had kind of a rough day. I mean, every day is kind of a rough day, but like, I just have a lot of issues <laughs> and it's actually not funny. I just stopped laughing. I'm a very sensitive human being. You know, the world is a little bit too much for me. And I don't mean that in the sense of like, oh, you know, the bad things happening in the world are too much for me. Like, yes, that's true. But like even tiny little things like bad encounters with people or someone is mad at me or just anything uh, literally ruins my whole day and my life. Uh, but yeah, today was just a rough day because being a human that is extremely sensitive is uh, annoying as fuck. I don't know, I just recently found out that Leos are sensitive. I never knew that. Okay, anyway, I'm going to use my Flower Beauty Paddle Brush. It, the name rubbed off, my bad. And I'm going to go into the James Charles palette, B, T, motherfucking W. Have you seen these nails? They are done. Oh, this hand? Done too. I got a gel manicure. They're gonna be painted for like at least a week until they chip and then they stay chipped for like three weeks and I come on camera anyway because I don't care. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get extensions. Like, I'm just trying to be a better person. I'm also on a diet. What the fuck? I used to do my nails all the time and then I stopped and I'm like, you know what, bitch? You need to care more about yourself, okay? Get it together. But anyway, I'm gonna get this cream shade from the James Charles palette and I'm gonna set my eyeshadow primer with that. Oh, I don't even know what I'm talking about, you guys. I have a headache. I think it's a withdrawal from like, bad fucking food. You don't understand. Your bitch was eating pasta at midnight every night. Oh, it was so much fun though. Like those are the good days. And I'm doing the whole intermittent fasting. Inter intermittent? Intermittent? But basically I'm doing this fasting thing where I don't eat um, after 7 p.m. Which is like really sad. I never thought I would be that bitch. And it's not because I moved back to LA. It's just like it was time. Like I've gained a lot of weight. Like I've been eating pretty much everything I wanted for the past two years. So it was just time. I'm gonna dip into this color right here. I don't know what it's called, but it's the second one down. My bad, I did, I threw away the plastic thing, okay? That was my bad. I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Shack T93 brush. I really, really, really like this brush for blending in a transition shade. It kind of just applies it 
like already blended for you and I love that. I love not having to do a lot of shit. Before I forget, I'm gonna put on this Sephora chapstick, which honestly is like the best chapstick I've ever used. This is the Sephora Super Nourishing Lip Balm. I just always notice that my lips are like another level of crusty every time I film, so I'm trying to uh, get better. Anyway, what are your guys' plans for Valentine's Day? I, I don't think I'm doing anything. My mom did move here with us, so like technically she could watch the baby, but like her and my stepdad, like maybe they wanna do something. I don't know. The reality is I would love for like Nassim to just be like, hey, I booked something, don't worry about it. Like I have a date planned, but he's just not that type of person. <laughs> he always tells me everything, so his surprises are like not surprising and I mean he might get me like flowers and stuff Ugh, the whole flower thing I saw a tweet the other day that was like guys we want you to get us flowers but we don't want you to get us flowers because we're telling you to get us flowers we want you to get us flowers because you want to get us flowers and that fucking hit me in my soul that is the truest shit I have ever heard I am going to go in with this third shade right oh, what? fuck this third shade right here it's kind of like a mm, mauve shade yeah, mauve shade. I don't know if this is considered mauve, but it's kind of giving me Valentine's Day vibes, so we're gonna go with it. And I'm just gonna put that a little bit closer to my crease, not quite as blended out as the other shade. Oh, wonderful. Love that. Love that. My air conditioning is just like a freaking tornado right now. Sorry, guys. Um, I think the air will turn off soon. It's just kind of blasting right now. I'm just going to do both eyes because normally I do the other eye off camera and I realize it just makes everything take so long and then it's like been three hours and my video's not done. So I'm just going to do them both at the same time. Oh, and this is the Alamad Cosmetics Brush from the new Ojitos Trio. I really, really love her brushes. Now that that color is laid down, I'm gonna get my Makeup Forever brush. Oh shit, this is rubbed off too. And I'm just gonna blend that out for a little bit. I was gonna do my hair for this video too. Like I was going to show you guys how I curl my hair until I realized nobody needs to see that. You know, as a creator, I feel like it's your responsibility to just understand that sometimes you need to not do that thing that you're thinking about doing. But hopefully it's gonna get better from here. Oh. Thank God. I am going to dip into this color right here. It's called Damas from the new Alamar palette. And it's kind of like a true burgundy shade. And I'm gonna dip into that with this ColourPop E2 brush. I am going to put that in my outer corners. And I don't want this to be super smoky. I kind of just want this to like define the look a little bit more, whatever. I just want this to add a little bit more dimension. So I'm just gonna kind of like wiggle it into uh, my outer corner by the way so my cousin is gonna be visiting us on valentine's day actually and she's older she's not old she's like 40 something 50 i don't know exactly okay and i know you're watching this bitch i'm sorry okay i don't know exactly how old you are but anyway she watches my videos and she is someone who wants to know more about makeup like she does makeup but not like so much does that make sense like a lot of you i hear or you say in my comments that you're not like super into makeup and funny enough she actually like i did her makeup when she was in miami and then she tried to buy the products that i used on her and then she says when she used it on herself it was like horrible and the powder was like super dry the point of me even even bringing this up is basically she has been urging me to make a video talking about like the 101 of makeup like the basic shit and I don't know I'm just wondering if that's something you guys would be interested in like a basic makeup like a basic makeup video kind of explaining why do we do certain things why do we use this brush here and that brush there and why does this color go first and then this color? you know basic shit and then also kind of incorporating the fact that she has a little bit of drier skin and she's older so you know you have to use different techniques and shit she's coming out so i figured we could maybe do a video where like i do half of her face and then she does the other half she's also really fucking funny so i think it would be a funny video but i don't know if you guys would be interested in that let me know listen i'm no fucking pro okay but i i did you know a lot of people ask me didn't you do makeup professionally yes I did when I was like 19 years old I was a freelancer I did makeup for a few years and I did actually train with a lot of people like uh, great makeup artists and stuff that I kind of shadowed in Miami um so I learned shit but also I feel like it's outdated shit you know there's so many new techniques and like cut crease that didn't exist a bunch of shit just didn't exist back then so I don't know 
I don't know. I know that most people will be like, what the fuck do you have to offer to like teach us? But like, I can teach like basic makeup, okay? Not like Jaclyn Hill type of makeup, but like basic shit. Anyway, I'm just blending this out with the Makeup Forever brush. And I wish I had somewhere to go tonight, but I will just be taking this off as soon as I stop this video. I only have two settings. Either I look like a fucking troll all the time, or I look like I'm going to prom. That's my lifestyle. That is who I am. I love how far down I, wh why do I need to bring the color like down to my cheeks? No, like why? I'm gonna get the same paddle brush that I used in the beginning and that cream shade and I'm just gonna kind of highlight my brow bone and then blend that shade into that. I'm not really sure what a Valentine's Day look means. I feel like it's supposed to be less smoky and more like date nighty, but, but are you supposed to like put on pink? Like actual pink on your eye? My mom was like, yeah, the Valentine's Day colors are hot pink and red. And I'm like, bitch, I'm not trying to look like a vampire. I used to be really into like this red eyeshadow. It wasn't red, it was like almost red and I wore it all the time and it looked horrible. And people would tell me it looked horrible and I just didn't believe them. It's pretty much the story of my life. People trying to warn me about things that are very clearly in my face and I'm just like, huh? Wait, what? You're talking about what? I'm going to dip into this color. It is a shimmery, kind of like a champagne color. And let's see if it's pigmented enough for my lid. Ooh, not bad. I'm not gonna cut my crease or anything. I just get that on my ring finger and kind of just swipe it on and layer it up. And then I sometimes will grab like another finger and just like <laughs> blend it into that. I'd like taste the eyeshadow. Oh, that doesn't make sense. I don't know what's happening. I tasted like almost like if I was using a peach palette. It tasted really sweet and it's not the chapstick. I don't know what the fuck it just happened. Anyway, I just licked my finger and it had eyeshadow on it. Even though that's a pretty shade, I want to add kind of like a more pinky element to it. So I'm gonna get my J-Cap Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse in Champagne Wiz. And this does have a slightly pink sheen to it i'm not sure if you can see that anyway if you haven't tried these you have to try them they are so highly reflective and they have glitter in them but they also have like a very intense chrome like base i guess <laughs> i don't know how to explain anything anyway i'm just gonna grab that on my finger and like tap it on and you can't really you can't really tell that i did anything i feel like i want to go get my hourglass glitters but then i feel like i'm gonna go overboard and just I'm gonna look crazy. So maybe I'm just gonna sit that out. Okay, I'm gonna do a winged liner. And I usually use this Tardis liquid and pencil eyeliner. It's like a duo. And I just grab the pencil and like tight line my eyes. Ow. 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 Oh God, forget it. And now I'm gonna go in with the felt tip side. I usually start halfway, like I do half of a line and then I kind of take it inside inside inward and then i just uh do the wing i know that's not very good explaining but fuck it It looks a little funky, but I am going to smoke my wing out, so I'm just gonna kind of leave it like that for now. Cause usually when you smoke a wing out, it fixes it and makes it look a million times better. Wow, I really, uh, really fucked that one up. Okay, I'm just gonna smoke this out and pray to Jesus. I am going to go into this Dose of Colors brush that is double-ended. I'm gonna go into this pointy end and dip it into this color called Caballeros. And I'm gonna use that to smoke this out. So basically when I smoke out a liner, I just grab a very tiny brush and then I kind of tap over what I already lined first. And then I'll slowly start bringing it up a little bit. I do kind of want to just make it look like I did the wing with eyeshadow versus eyeliner, which is a little bit more harsh. So I just kind of tap back and forth until I think it looks fine. And um, sometimes I won't pick up any more product on the brush and just kind of smoke it out. Once I put on lashes, it'll definitely look a lot better. That's the rule of my entire life. Just put on lashes and if it still sucks, then it just sucks. I get so many comments of people being like, holy shit, that looked horrible before you put on lashes and foundation and 
that's literally my life. Don't judge your look until you have foundation on, bitch, okay? Foundation makes everything better. But I love doing this because it does kind of give a more like flirty look to the eye. What? <laughs> and then sometimes when I do things like this, like I, I kind of like went past what I wanted to. I'll go in with concealer, which this is almost done. And this is still my favorite concealer till this day. This is the Tarte Creases Concealer. Talk about full coverage, bitch. I use it for my under eye. I use it for my acne. I mean, it's just, it's just incredible. But anyway, um, before I go in with foundation, I will go in with a concealer and a brush and just kind of shape out how I want my wing. Great. I am going to do a pop of color underneath my eye. Well, I mean, it's technically a pop of color. It's not like the craziest color I could have chosen, but it's technically a pop. I wanted to keep the eyes pretty uh, tame. I mean, everyone's probably thinking, bitch, you do this every single time you do a video, like you never branch out, but I don't know. I didn't want to do too much on the eyes. Just a little bit of shadow, a wing, and then a pop of color underneath blended out. Leave me alone, okay? I'm trying my best. Okay, I'm gonna go wet my sponge, which is the, I forget every fucking time. Okay, so I am going to put on some mascara before I do my foundation, and this is the Milani's Most Wanted Lashes. I tried this when I was at Kathleen's house, and I actually really liked it. I mean, for such an affordable mascara, I thought it was really good. I mean, you have to layer it up. It's not a miracle worker, but like, like I said, for an affordable mascara, it's good. And also, I have been having a lot of trouble with my Better Than Sex mascara. Every single bottle that I get, by the end of the day, so much mascara has transferred to the top. It's just horrendous. I, I can't even use it anymore, so that fucking sucks. So I wanted to get a different brand of mascara because I was sick and tired of doing my makeup, and an hour later, there's black streaks on the top of my fucking eye. So I am going to put on foundation, and I'm also gonna use a foundation that I used at Kathleen's house. Uh, we filmed a video together. If you didn't see it, I'll link it down below. It was a get ready with me. And and I used this L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. And I actually really, really like this foundation. I don't think it's the lightest foundation. Like, you know, look-wise, it's not like, oh my god, are you even wearing foundation? Like, no, bitch. You're wearing foundation. And we all know it. But I do actually really just like the formula. I don't know why. I, I just, I like the way it looks. It wears for a really long time. I sweat a lot. <laughs> as you know, especially from my like upper mustache area. And I found that this foundation really helps with that. I mean, it doesn't help that I don't sweat. It just doesn't budge as much like most foundations. By the time I go outside, like it's already streaky and I have to kind of like blend it in with a napkin or something. And I found that this one was really, really good with like staying for most of the night. I don't know, I really enjoyed this foundation. It does smell kind of like strong, perfumey. Was that a sentence? Strong, perfumey? You know what I mean? It has a strong perfume scent, but I don't mind it. I'm also not very sensitive to strong scents. I love strong scents, so maybe I'm not the one to ask about that, but I really, really um, enjoy the scent. Oh, did I have a booger this whole time? Why is my life like this? I am going to apply my L'Oreal. <laughs> What? I'm gonna apply this Tarte Creases Concealer. This is in the color Fair Light Neutral, and I really am running out of this shit. It's very depressing. I'm gonna put that under my eyes and then kind of anywhere that I have spots that haven't been fully covered by the foundation. I would say the foundation has like medium coverage. It's definitely not full, but it's medium to full coverage because you can definitely build this foundation up. I just don't want to because I don't want it to be super cakey and it definitely can get cakey. Everyone's trying the Hourglass Foundation and I'm just like, I can't afford that. <laughs> it's so expensive. And then what if I don't like it? I guess I could return it, but I don't return things because of my anxiety. I don't do confrontation. It's actually one of the biggest, like, horrible things about me. Like, literally, I cannot handle the smallest amount of confrontation at all. And it sucks because the business that I'm in just kind of naturally comes with confrontation, whether it be people I used to know that don't like me anymore or <laughs> just fucking anything. Like, it just naturally kind of comes with the territory, and I don't like that. The other day, ugh. It was such a mission getting a washer and dryer into this house because this is a brand new house that I'm living in. And so the owner didn't have a washer and dryer yet. So they were going to deliver it, whatever. Point is, it took like a month and three Home Depot trips coming here and telling us, oh no, this is wrong. Oh no, this is wrong. We can't install it. Oh, this too. We can't install it because of this. And um, my mom got really pissed on the last one. My mom and this guy got like in a fight and I ran away. 
bitch, I'm not joking. I fucking ran. And my mom later was like, Jesse, what the fuck? Like, you can't just run away from problems. And I'm like, bitch, watch me. I can't run for shit. Like I seriously am out of shape, um, but I certainly can run away from my problems. Oh, by the way, remember in my last video where I said I was gonna come on camera with my eyebrows done every video? Already forgot about that. I'm not sure that I like doing my brows before because I feel like they slide everywhere and then I put on foundation and it's hard to not like fuck up your brows. So then I'd rather just do them after. I'd rather not do them at all, but I'd rather do them after. A lot of you guys were suggesting, um, what is it called? Microblading for your eyebrows and <sighs> Guys, I don't know. I would have to look up, first of all, like the best person ever doing it. Like, bitch, I'm not about to have some tattooed on fucked up eyebrows. Like where I grew up in Miami, like all the old ladies had like horribly tattooed on eyebrows because that was just like the thing back in the day. And I'm not trying to look like Abuelita in Hialeah, okay? I mean, like she's killing it, but it's not my vibe. Second of all, I need to like research the ingredients in it because I am super allergic to henna tattoos. I'm not sure if you know that. Whatever, point is I would have to look up the ingredients because if it has anything that a henna has in it, I can't fucking do it. And also it's like, okay, I'm not that lazy. Like I can do my eyebrows. I barely put on makeup. So like when I do, oh my God, I'm not even telling you guys what I'm using. The fuck? I just put on this Marc Jacobs Invisible Finish Line Powder. That's what I put under my eyes. And then now I'm putting on the KKW Brighten Powder, number one. And like, I used to really like this stuff. But now I feel like it literally gives me reverse raccoon eyes. And I don't know how I feel. Okay, so now I'm gonna get this a Cosmetics brush. I'm not really sure which one it is, but it's fluffy. And my Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation in Ivory. This is from JCap Beauty. It's like literally almost done and I need to get more. Because this this is the only powder that I put on my pimples because it's like the only thing that actually covers them up. So I just kind of go over anywhere that I have spots. You guys already know this if you've seen this channel more than once. I do this every single time I do my makeup. I'm not gonna lie, this foundation does kind of sink into your lines. Like I never have a problem with my smile lines and right now I could kind of see my smile lines and here there's like some wrinkles. But overall it is like a pretty finish so I can live with it. Now I am going to put on the Marc Jacobs powder all over my face. I'm also going to dip into my Aqua Assurance powder and I usually just kind of like tap. I know this is a lot of powder. Okay, I know. I just kind of tap it everywhere. And then immediately after I powder, I grab my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is my favorite setting mist ever. Not my setting mist, no. It's not my favorite setting mist because I don't feel like it actually does anything for like the longevity of your makeup, but it is my favorite um, like in-between mist. A lot of you guys know, after I powder, I have to spray my face with something, otherwise my whole look just looks fucking cakey as fuck. So I like putting that in between and I feel like it is the best spray to put over your powder. It just kind of helps it to sink into your skin and not look so crazy. Okay, so really quick, I am going to put on my lipstick and I'm gonna be using the Shannon Rose lipstick. Okay, first of all, I love this shit. I love Shannon Rose, but I love her lipstick. She collabed, if you don't know, Shannon Rose is a YouTuber. I've been following her for a very long time. We did like a virtual collab back in the day on my main channel. Anyway, point is, she collabed with a company called IGXO Cosmetics. This is not sponsored, I'm just explaining. And basically, this is her lipstick called Cake, and I fucking love it. Honestly, it's a really pretty nude, but more than that, it's like just a great formula. It's it's a more wearable lipstick. This isn't like a super drying liquid lipstick, is what I'm trying to say. So I really love this. This is in the shade Cake, like I said. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off my eyes by putting this color right here. This is called Rumbera. And I'm basically just gonna grab that with this MAC pencil brush, the number rubbed off. And I'm going to smoke that out on my lower lash line. I am going to get a tiny bit of that Damas color, which is the burgundy shade, and I'm gonna get it with this Crown C528 brush. I seriously fucking love this brush for smoking out your lower lash line. So I'm gonna get a little bit of Damas and just kind of put that right by my lash line, just to kind of give like a little bit of depth to the color. And then sometimes I will get a little fluffy brush like this. This has some like stains on it. It doesn't have any product, but this is the Stilazzi L217 brush and I kind of just go over and blend this just to like make sure um, it doesn't look like shit. And then I'm going to compliments of Tana Mojo. I never thought I'd say that sentence, but she suggested this color right here. 
Very serious. Sorry, my air conditioning started again. This video is just wonderful. Um, anyway, so I am going to dip into the Jaclyn Hill palette, and you don't have to go into so many palettes, like just use whatever you have, but I really enjoy this shade right here. It is called Beam, and I'm gonna use that as my inner corner highlight. It's just kind of very light and reflective and really like opens up your eyeballs. And I'm going to line my eyes with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Vice. This is just kind of an eggplanty kind of color. And I'm just gonna line the bottom lid with that. Anyway, I am going to do the same on the other eye. And I'm also gonna do my eyebrows off camera. And I'm also going to apply these Ardell Wispies and I will be right back. Alrighty, so I did my favorite thing, which is basically when I went over this eye with eyeliner to try to blend in my lashes and my eyeliner, um, I fucked up. I basically put black all down here and now it's like dark. We're gonna try to fix it, okay. So I have this Too Faced Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner. I don't love these to do like pops of glitter just because it does kind of peel off, like it's a peel off eyeliner. I don't know why they invented that, like, no thank you, I would not like my eyeliner to peel. But whatever, it's a really nice color, it's kind of this purple. Yeah, it's kind of purple. I am going to dab it right here underneath my eyes and just kind of blend it with my finger because I don't want it to be like super strong and then just do the same to the other eye. I'm gonna bronze and I'm gonna use my Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Bali Sands. This is like my favorite bronzer right now just because it's not like too intense for my skin tone so I, I don't look like an Oompa Loompa. And I'm gonna put that on with a Zoeva Luxe Face Definer Brush number 101 and I just kind of sloppily, you know, put it in the E formation or whatever. Also, I just realized that I forgot to put on mascara on my lower lashes. I really like this mascara for the lower lash line. I feel like it separates them, but volumizes. It doesn't get too clumpy. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit at the root of my lashes to make sure there's no like powder there. Okay, now I'm gonna keep bronzing. I watch so much YouTube, so I never thought I'd be asking this, but do you guys have any like good recommendations for YouTubers? I am usually into mukbangs. I'm into like crime. Well, I'm not into crime. I'm into like crime videos. Well, not crime videos. You know what I'm talking about, where YouTubers are like kind of explaining crimes and serial killers and all that stuff. I probably shouldn't be watching that, uh, but I do. I don't know. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Because like, I love the YouTubers that I watch, but I feel like it's just like the same people. Anyway, I'm going to put on this Too Faced Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo in Strobe berry. I used this in my Tutti Frutti video and I absolutely love this blush. It is pink, which is normally not my vibe. It's just so pretty on your cheeks. And then I am going to highlight, and lately I have been really liking this Ofra highlight in glazed donut. It is like super, super intense. And I put that on with my Morphe M510 brush. Like seriously, what the fuck? I think this was one of their Nikki Tutorials collabs. I'm just trying to collab with Ofra, bitch. Like, fucking hit me up. Okay, so since we're going for a really glowy vibe, I'm gonna put on this Too Faced lip gloss in all the stars. And I'm just gonna apply that right here in the center. It has kind of like a pink reflect to it. It's really, really pretty. I'm not sure if you can tell the pop of color, but it's there, bitch, okay? At least for me it is. I would do my hair, but we all know I'm not going anywhere. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be in Los Angeles filming videos again. I'm just happy overall. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!